Hello everyone, my name is Andre and I will guide you in this tutorial how to make you a very beautiful map using the Mars topography. Um, the very first thing that we need to use is this, this file here, the Molo32 in an XDF that contains all the original Molo file with the topography in Mars. And that's the source of this file here is the Mars Climate Database from the European Space Agency and we use the X-Array to open this file. So, very first of all, we just import the X-Array library as XR and we open this data set. We, I can just name this data set Mars XR open data set and we point it to this MOLA32 NC file. Uh, we also use this line here just to see what is inside these data sets. And if you run that, you see that will be a very huge file with a lot of latitudes and longitudes in all the points. The topography is stored in this variable here, out, that is an integer, and there's a 32 pixels per degree. Uh, in order to use to make a global map, I have to convert this in a float, and also I can do a resample just to make a, a global map of Mars very smoothly, so this we not using much of your memory. Uh, to do that, the very first thing that I do is to import the PyGMT because we will use some of these functions. Uh, I can call again Mars Topo create this uh, array structure from the D sets Mars, the out variable, S type floats. And uh, I use the PyGMT uh, routine that is called PyGMT GRD sample, where I point to the same grid that I did the name before. This set Mars Topo. So I just uh, will overwrite of this name. Um, Sometimes we have an image uh, grid and we want to translate to a pixel grid registration. So we use the translate here as true because that will convert it to an image. And then spacing, I just uh, uh, just call the spacing like one per one degree. That's exactly what I need. So I run this and you see that the PyGMT will just convert this file that is in a 32 pixels per degree in a one per one degree. And then for that, I, we can use that to plot a global map. For the map, uh, we started again like in the, any other the tutorials that you saw from, the, uh, from PyGMT. Uh, we just say that our fig is a PyGMT figure because we will plot, I also like to write down the fig show, just to not to forget that. And uh, the image, so this global image goes with an a routine called GRD image, where I pointed to the grid file, this set Mars topo, that is exactly what I, I created in the line above. Um, and I can already uh, just write down that the region with the letter G, that means that it is a global uh, file with the whole globe uh, region. I can also just ask the PyGMT the frame true to make automatically a frame like a map. And I added also a projection. I really like the uh, Mo White projection with 12 centimeters. And when we run that, we have exactly the map of the global Mars topography. Uh, of course, we needed to see what is this color means. And so we added here a color bar. So figure color bar. And um, we can also already use the, the same line just to drop some information in this color bar. I can say that I would like to have all these colors in 5,000 centimeters uh, slices, so notated. And uh, uh, below my color bar, I just put a label elevation. 
and on the side of the color bar I just put another label meters when I run that again so then we have our Mars topography projection with the elevation with this uh, colors here so we use exactly uh, the same structure here uh, just after that I'm interested to show uh, what is this point here that is very high we can see is more than 20,000 meters high so that's the Olympus Mons so that's a very big volcano extinct volcano on the surface of Mars and uh, to do that and to do a map of that I need to select exactly this point here so I I made some uh, research in the internet and I found that the Olympus Mons uh, is centered at this latitude and longitude so 90 degrees north and uh, 133 degrees west uh, and uh, I decided just to get a nice slice of this part here using the normal vector ray to do so so we use the same original data set to to just to cut a piece of uh, this topography map around the Olympus Mons. so what we do, we create here a data set Olympus, uh, you call this name, this is my dset Mars, the original one, and I will select a slice in latitude, latitude, um, slice from 25 to 13. This is more or less 12 degrees in latitude. This is century more or less around the, the Olympus Mons. And then the longitude, I will do the same. Uh, I just need to remember that is from 0 to 360. So I will get the slice from uh, 210 to 240. And then I get my uh, variable out as type um, float. Uh, I also you can use the same line here just to set Olympus and a plot just to see how it looks like. And uh, you see that you we can see here the Olympus moons with more than twenty thousand meters high, uh, uh, surrounded by a low level field. However, this is not a map, this is just a representation of this thing. And what I want to do is uh, a 3D uh, representation of that. So I can use this Olympus, uh, this set Olympus data set here uh, to make a, a 3D map uh, using the PyGMT. Well, we start again with a fig PyGMT uh, figure. And uh, just to not forget the show. And uh, to, to make the 3D, uh, what we do is to use this structure with GRD view. So the GRD view, uh, we point it to the grids, the D sets Olympus. Uh, that will be the data set that we will use. And we need to pass some more information uh, about the region that we are looking uh, and we, we are plotting for. So the region will be uh, between brackets, uh, the minimum uh, in longitude, the minimum and maximum in longitude and latitude and also in Z. So that means we will be from 210 to 240, then 30 to 25, and then let's say from minus 5,000 meters up to 23,000 meters. So this is also a surface. Uh, the GRD view will, will you see a, a matrix has a surface. So the surf type uh, will be S like a surface. Another very important information is about the projection because this is a model as in the middle of the planet I can use the projection on Mercator, exactly the same that we use here on Earth. Um, also the perspective um, we can play with some values, but uh, I like to start always with this <clears throat> 150 and 45. And also my axis in the three dimension will be Z size uh, 
let's say four centimeters or so that would be maybe enough and um, uh, let's say on the frame two just to see what the the PyGMT will do if we run that you see that it started rendering the image that will take this data set that is stored in the x-ray and then we use his information the topography information with a three-dimensional structure of course depending on the size that you have your file that will take some time uh, however if you have some some uh, error here in the typing you see uh, the, the, the warning message or some error directly so in this case here he plotted his the nice picture here we can see uh, the latitudes and the longitudes here and we see the structure of the volcano but of course that is we can play a little bit more with that and that's uh, the very first uh, info that we have and uh, one thing that we can do here is to drop uh, a shading so that means we put an illumination source that we can play with some shaders and that will appear for us more than the 3D. Let's say shading, um, we start with the plus 8 with the azimuth and we say here 100 degrees in the azimuth. And we can also say that's a natural uh, surround level of lights and uh, that's it that's that's pretty enough and that but because this is a color map uh, and I also would like to show more information on, on, on this frame um, <clears throat> I can just uh, play like the other tutorials with uh, annotate at five degrees make ticks at five degrees uh, F1 degrees um, in latitude and longitude, annotate in frame 1 and also in Z I would like to say each 5000 meters and uh, also put the label meters because we want to show that and also I can tell to the PyGMT that I would like to plot to make the annotations on the south side, the east side, and just the ticks on the west and the north, and also show you on the on the Z. Uh, of course, this is color, that, that would be interesting to have a color bar here, we can just uh, copy this exactly the same color bar here, so it's exactly absolutely the same that we have uh, before. The only thing we can just to put this info here, perspective, true, and then the PyGMT GMT will understand that this is a 3D information and then we'll plot already uh, the color bar to in the perspective. Uh, you see that it will be a very fast and uh, clear map. And of course, again, takes time that to render. And um, you know, about the, the, the light source, the shade, look, it's, it's already, you can see the, the, this south uh, flank side of the volcano pretty clear. And you can play a little bit more with the, the shading in the azimuth and put on the other sides. And uh, you have a 3D map of uh, uh, Mars uh, topography. Uh, another thing that I would like to do here is an uh, inset. I would like to make this this map here and the whole planet exactly on the side, on this top side here. And um, for that, I use another structure which is called the inset. So, figure the inset. I will tell for the inset the position will be then top uh, right with 3.5 centimeters. Um, I do that in the position uh, using a code that means uh, yacht TR plus with 3.5 centimeters and uh, another information about the margins I don't I don't like to have any margin here uh, margin zero 
zero and also i don't i don't want to have a bounding box around this inset so i put a box no and uh, inside this inset i just put another another codes uh, i can copy this code here because I want to, to have exactly the code that I did this map here before. Uh, I put it here, uh, just organizing here. The only thing that we have to pay attention is that because we are having set of 3.5 centimeters, I can just reduce that to 3.5 and then that map will be uh, small on that side. Another thing that will be interesting is to have this bounding box in that part. So that means an, a small map with the bounding box uh, in a different color because then of course the, the, the reader can just look at the map and see oh that, that's the area that you're pointing on the, on the planets. And uh, for that uh, here it's using the same color uh, color palette here it's of course and we want to see this point here with a bounding box for that we create a uh, array with uh, all the informations about the bounding box uh, positions so remember that the region is 210 13 and then uh, 210 25 and then 240 25 and then 240 13 again and by the last 210 13 so I have it here then coordinates and uh, I will use the command plots uh, I don't need this color bar, of course, because there is already a color bar here. So fig plots, please use my bounds. And uh, I would like to have this like a pen with a one pixel and red. And then we start rendering that. And you see your map just showing in 3D with the whole planet topography there and with the bounding box. Uh, there is a few notes that we have to take care of. So the, the Z size here that we use is a little bit critical because you remember that the size of the figure can be uh, varying around the, the box that you have for drawing. Uh, look, that, that's the bounding box in red and that's the point, so that's the area of the bounding box. Another thing that is we, we cannot use the whole data set here in the inset because that will take forever uh, to render. Um, and uh, another thing that we have to adjust is always this, we have to consider uh, the size of the figure that we are uh, producing and the perspective. We have to play a little bit with the perspective and a little bit with the color and the shading color. You see here that there's a double plot here just because I I wrote here two times figure show. Uh, but uh, now that I can make this modification, I made this modification here. I can I would like to to try another angle of these lights. Let's say 50 degrees in azimuths, and you see that the, there will be some variations in the color of the shading on the figure. So you can play around with what is the best for you uh, and what is the best for your 3D map. Um, again, uh, it's not exactly the same uh, perspective that you get for all the data that you, you want. That depends on what you want to show. Uh, if you change the perspective also to um, make a new angle of view, uh, looking from the north west side you can do that just uh, uh, showing another perspective but remember that then you have to adjust this shading here just to get a nice uh, 3d view um, in the tutorial that you have in the github there will be a few bonus maps and uh, other things that you can do you can put some symbols and you can do other kinds of projections that you want to play with and i hope that you have fun with the pygmt